Abart Weld vs. Fillet Weld. A Bart Weld joins two pieces on the same plane while a fillet weld joins perpendicular or angled workpieces. They may appear similar but possess different methods of construction. Constructing a Bart Weld involves placing two metal workpieces end to end and welding along the joint. When carrying out this process, it is important for the workpieces to be on the same plane, making them parallel. Also, the weld metal should remain within the planes of the surfaces. To achieve this joint, Tack welding ensures proper alignment. Subsequent weld passes strengthen the joint. Also, preheating at the butt joint area may be required to join the parts and minimize post-weld distortions. If the two parts coming together are thin plates, then there is no requirement for surface preparation. However, as the adjoining parts get thicker, beveling may be required. The beveling allow for partial or full penetration of the weld into the joint. This increases its strength. When using full penetration welds, welds from both sides and back gouging help avoid distortion and ensure weld root integrity. In situations when welding both sides is not possible, using a backing strip and thicker weld throat is often sufficient. The design strength of a Bart weld is a function of material yield strength, thickness of the weld, length of the weld, and the safety factor. Generally, avoiding butt welds is preferable. This is due to the high preparation time, higher welding skills requirement, and the overall required time. In addition, it increases weld shrinkage and results in more residual stresses. Due to the penetration of butt welds, they deliver higher strength joint strength than fillet welds. Full penetration butt welds transmit the full strength of the cross section. This offers a robust design for components under heavy load. Unlike butt welds, fillet welds join two metal pieces at an angle. Fillet welds require minimal or no surface preparation. This makes it cost effective and quick to perform. The time savings may prove significant in large projects with numerous welds. A welder's skill does not need to be as high as that for a butt weld. Three main face profiles of fillet welds exist. These are mitre, convex, and concave. The deep penetration variant can take any of these profiles and requires the removal of a greater amount of base material. The design strength of the fillet weld is a function of the weld thickness, the effective length of the weld, and the maximum permissible shear strength on the weld. Bart welds and fillet welds are among the most common welding methods in the industry. There are benefits to each method. The Bart weld features two workpieces joined on the same plane. A fillet weld joins two workpieces that perpendicular or at an angle. Bart welds are slower than fillets because of the edge preparation and the amount of weld metal required. Fillet welding requires no edge preparation and less weld metal so is the ideal option to make quicker welds. Bart welds are more expensive than fillet welds as they require more material, preparation, and skill. Because of the requirements of less weld material, no edge preparation, and less skilled welders, fillet welds are cheaper. Bart welds can attain full penetration, thus offering welds of higher strength. There are limitations to the depth of fillet welds, thus limiting theoretical strength.